What is going on, lunatics? Happy Thanksgiving. Hope everybody's having a great day. For the USA, it's a national holiday where we recognize a feast. We we eat, uh, we, we eat bird today. So uh, if you like this type of content, make sure you hit the like button on the way in. I'm going to show you how to trade Luna Classic so that you can, as easy as possible, buy it or know where to get whatever it is that you're looking for. So uh, again, make sure you hit the like button on the way in. Let's go. All right, number one, in the links down below, there is an exchange called Weeks, W-E-E-X. That exchange is where you can sign up under me to trade Luna Classic, and that is futures trading. Now, there are very few places where you can do futures trading with Luna Classic right now, but Weeks is one of them, and uh, if you sign up down here today, I think they give you a, a, a little bit of a bonus depending on your deposit, and you can start to do futures trading and follow the trends of the market. Also available in spot trading as well. However, Weeks is a non-KYC exchange, so you don't cash out in the United States. From there, you would have to transfer your, your, your funds to a Coinbase, Kraken, or Crypto.com account. But you can trade freely futures on Weeks. If you're looking to trade meme coins, meme coins are being traded at terraport.finance and you can trade whichever meme coin you are looking to trade, uh, including you can earn from the Selenium uh, giveaway uh, if you go to the launch pad over here. Um, I do have a stake going right now for to earn some Terra. And then of course, here is the launch, the new Synthetics platform. Selenium is a DeFi protocol powered by smart contracts on the Terra Classic network, and you can win some as long as you're holding at least 10,000 Terra right now. Also, if you want to trade meme coins, you can come to coinhall.org and change this up here to whatever chain that you want. In, in this case, it would be Terra Classic, and boom, you would get all of the uh, meme coins, and you can look at the one hour time different, the, the, the value differentials, and you can see up here the most widely traded and trending tokens. You can see Juris right now sitting at number one, followed by Cookie, Boys, Loop, Tritium. Uh, by the way, I do have some news on the boys. So anyway, uh, and then you can just attach your wallet up here in the top right-hand side. Uh, also, if you're looking for some risk-based gaming, and you want to attach your wallet, terracasino.io, in conjunction with a bunch of different other ones, um, would be a great place for you to do some of this risk-based gaming. Platypus right now sponsors Wild Spin. Uh, the Terra Casino, along with the World Poker League, is sponsoring a 2 million euro tournament, uh, season three of which goes from uh, tomorrow until December 22nd. So there's a link in the description below. Go sign up today, and uh, who knows what could happen. Your life could be changed in 30 days. Now let's talk Luna. <laughs> Classic. Uh, so anyway, uh, nothing new on Commonwealth Vegas proposal over here for the dashboard update is the only thing we got going on. So let's look at the price. Price is doing exactly what we did. I, I changed this to the four hour. You know, I've, I'm not a huge fan here of the four hour. I haven't been doing it. Usually do the one hour or the one day. But the four hour kind of gives you a little bit more granular look. And exactly what we predicted to happen is exactly what happened. Uh, we had the move up, uh, broke out of this trend line, and then boom, fell back down. Uh, and we're coming back down possibly to this line. Now, listen, uh, today it's Thanksgiving and the last time we had a Thanksgiving, crypto dumped 20% in one day. Could be that we saw that happen uh, two days ago, but I don't think so. I think there's more dump coming, um, but I'm not sure. Maybe this market is too bullish because of ETFs, but I, I would sense a, a an, an opportunity right here for the bears to get some wins. And when I look at my liquidation report, it shows me that there's a lot of liquidity sitting down below us. So driving the price down, and making those people buy into the market seems like an, a, an appropriate move for the bears today. So I would look for some price suppression. If I were you, I would be shorting everything uh, today. But I can't tell you what to do. I just my opinion uh, about it. So, uh, but but what's happening right now is playing out exactly the way. And by the way, if um, this my idea here, my idea here was what we were gonna you know kind of bounce around in this range until January and then have an explosive rally. That was my guess of what would happen. So I don't know that that is or is not going to be the case, but that's the way the market looks. But like I said, I mean, I expected a lot more dump today and we haven't gotten it yet. So 
uh, we might be surviving a storm or we are at the whim of market makers for a very unpredictable sort of storm. But Luna Classic, uh, probably going to hold up pretty well. Now, uh, next up, there's no bad news coming out. Next up, volumes up 10% to 55.59 million. A lot of it coming from BTCC again. We're about three days away from the next Binance burn. And speaking of burns, we had a huge one yesterday, which I told you about. And now we're going to see it on the, the, the trend. But BTCC uh, still doing uh, a, a lot of these uh, a lot of this volume. So I'm not sure the accuracy. The confidence level here is still moderate. So I'm not sure the accuracy of that. And they don't have the reserves for this place. So... Take it for what you will. Donald Trump has won the 2024 election and will be your president. The first pro-crypto president. Bitcoin currently trading at around $87,000. This is the ideal moment for effective management of your own investment portfolio. Since 2019, Cryptonomy has experienced exponential and substantial growth with revenue closing near 2.4 billion euros and insurance coverage of up to 6.1 billion on all company assets. Now listen, guys, the big move here for me in my fixed staking pool, I'm going to go all in on a little bit more XRP. I've got 5,900 XRP right now. I'm going to go into the nine month for 71% return. We're going to continue. We stake close to 6,000 XRP just now with a 71.8% return over nine months. This launch pool is blowing up. As you can see right here, open serve just went 7x getting a significant yield off of that. We got 1.9 on Satoshi Dex. We had a 2.58 on Tap Protocol, 2.1 on Talent, 3.1 on Cross. All right, guys, we're going 10 Ethereum into a bronze tier contract end date November 12, 2025. I expect to make a return of at least a decent amount, 50% profit sharing. When we got that last one, it was 7X. So I'm going to assume here that this is going to be a real good play. If you haven't already, don't forget myself, Dean DCA, Clay Lift Capital, Aaron Burke, we're all doing articles uh, for this organization. So if you are interested in learning a little bit more about cryptocurrency, then this is the place to go. You want to go to cryptonomy.finance slash research. Also, if you haven't already, sign up for their Telegram. The links are in the descriptions down below. And in the next two weeks, there's going to be a couple of big updates brought to you by all of us regarding cryptonomy.finance. Start investing now. USTC, however, is up 80% on the day, which would be a good indicator that there's some price appreciation coming. It is up 3% on the day. So um, is it having a breakout? Well, no, not exactly. But if we're getting guaranteed that USTC is headed back to a dollar, then there are quite a few people who are definitely going to want to buy a bag and make sure that they are holders. So uh, make sure that you know before you do exactly what that white paper says about the repeg. All right, now quick update here. Hamster meme uh, is second in volume on Terraport for the day after Terra, which was, uh, that's kind of crazy, right? Hamster meme going crazy. Jurist number three, B Lunk number four, and Rocket number five. Uh, but hamster meme back in the news. Now, speaking of hamster meme, there's another meme coin called the Boys Coin. Uh, our website is now back online with a new domain of the theboyscoin.online. Here you will find all the information you need about our project. And if you click it, then there you go. Uh, the Boys Coin on Luna Classic, all the information you need. Uh, about what it is uh, doing, what it's you know what's going on in the background. First of all, by the way, meme coin for the moment. So um, they gave you this more than a meme uh, deflationary token with endless development and growth supported by a committed team. Go ask yourself what that stuff is. Uh, you can click on what's new. Uh, you can go through all of this and check it out and stake and burn if need be. Now, uh, some comments that have been out here from Leonardo uh, from a community perspective. And there's a question that was asked here right here. Seems like a lot of positive as long as PPJ is, in, is followed. Remember, though, delegators can vote with their own delegated lunk. Validators do an important job. They don't dedicate what the way we as a community vote. Yes, from a community perspective, those who understand the WP see it as a significant step forward it is very energizing 100s of messages support ceramic and i uh, from all over the planet lunk holders everywhere seem to be serious about the repeg attempt from a validator's perspective the feedback has been great
rate to silence the plan is as beneficial to validators as it is to lunk USTC holders. So it's a win-win in the ecosystem. The big unknown is how many, if any, existing lunk devs would like to help. So if any lunk Cosmos dev want a job, that job is to be part of the best comeback in crypto history. They should reach out to Ceramic on GitHub. So uh, if there are developers out there looking for an opportunity uh, to bring this back to life, remember, I think the reward was going to be something like a million USTC. And currently there's eight billion. And if we're repegging it back to a dollar, then it's just a very small price to pay. And a good way for a developer to become a millionaire uh, by revitalizing this chain, which would be a fantastic opportunity. Now, Lunk Dash shows the Binance Hot Wallet 2.1 trillion still, so little deposit being made over there, but um, no real movement to speak of. On USTC, LFG still has 1.8 billion sitting there and 290 million in the TFL Labs wallet. Now, I haven't seen anything from Happy Caddy Crypto telling me anything different than TFL is still holding 290 million, so I don't know what this means. Generally, that should have been burned, uh, and I think that somebody should probably be addressing it, but I don't know what's going on over there. Maybe the next day or two, we'll start tagging Chris Amani and Tara Money and asking why this wallet has not burned yet. Overall burn tracker, 1.34 billion over the last seven days. Look, we want to have a billion at least a week. That would be 52 billion in a year. Still would not be significant, but that would be like a minimum baseline. And we're, we're not there. So, um, you know, we'll see how this all plays out. But look, guys, it, it's very, very important to recognize. All you need right now is patience, okay? If watching price action is driving you crazy, investment might not be for you. But if it is, relax a little bit, allow this process to play itself out, and then reap the rewards. There is a huge move coming for Luna Classic. Um, can I assure you of that? No, I can't assure you of anything. What I can assure you, though, is that every day I will report to you what's going on in this ecosystem. And maybe together we'll figure out the path forward and we'll make something huge happen. And look, we stuck with it for a long period of time, and guess what? In two months now, we've burned three times as much as we had burned in the two years leading up to it. So is it significant enough? No, but it is a very, very, very bold start, and we've got a repeg coming very, very soon. So get real bullish because we're about to enter that banana zone in cryptocurrency, and it's about to get absolutely crazy. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. Happy Thanksgiving, and this is not financial advice, but I'm always right.